Laboratory test ranges have changed over the last 30 years. Your medical doctor probably doesn't know this. For instance, blood urea nitrogen, BUN, is a test that, when elevated, indicates kidney disease or dysfunction. About 30 years ago, the clinical range for BUN was 10 to 20 milligrams per deciliter. Now in 2018, the clinical range is 8 to 27 milligrams per deciliter. These clinical ranges have changed based on population averages. So, 30 years ago, if you had a blood test and the BUN was 26, you would have kidney disease and be treated accordingly. But today, a value of 26 is considered normal. This means kidney disease has to be more advanced today before it can be clinically diagnosed. This is not good. The ESR, a blood test indicating inflammation, used to have a normal value of less than 8 30 years ago, but now the range for ESR is less than 20. This too is based on population averages, indicating that now today, people have much higher levels of inflammation, ESR, that is considered normal until the magic number of 20 is reached. These are just two examples, but just in the last few months, the normal levels for testosterone in men have dropped over 100 points, and the thyroid value T3 total has also significantly dropped such that now men can have much lower levels of testosterone and people can have lower levels of thyroid function that is now the new normal. People are sicker than ever, but it is not diagnosed until it's much more advanced. Because a laboratory value is common, it is considered normal and accepted as healthy. Truly, disease is now considered healthy with the new laboratory clinical ranges. Science-based nutrition members are trained to not only identify disease or pathology clinically with laboratory testing, but also to see those areas that are not optimal, that can often be improved easily. The earlier you find a problem, always the better results you will have.